What's going on, Shaholics? Long time since I made a video. Long time since I actually had a day off from work. Last like two, three weeks, I've been doing 12 hours a day. You know, work fishing on uh, the Ada Cave, the charter boat I work out, out on, out on out here in Montauk. And uh, yeah, finally got a day off. So it's raining, it's storming. You know, real nasty weather. But uh, let's make a run for it. Check out the surf and see if it's going to be worth it to get all geared up and give it a shot. Looks relatively good, so I think we're going to get weighted up, get all geared up, and we're going to hit the surf. Give it at least a solid, uh, you know, one, two hours or so. Also, I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers or to all, everyone who's watched my videos. I realized I just finally passed 20,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And uh, thank you so much. You guys are the best. And also, if you guys want to continue to help support my channel, I partnered uh, with Ramsey Outdoor Store. And we made these Fishaholic fishing hats right here, you know, with the Fishaholic logo on there. And there's this color and then a navy blue color, and I'll put a link down in the description where you guys can check it out. And, uh, yeah, let's get rigged up. <laughs> I'm going to have to dust off some uh, dust on that van stall and <laughs> get, her in, get her in ship shape, and hopefully we can catch some nice fish. All right, all rigged up. So this is what we're packing for lunch. And uh, we got some pencil poppers. You know, some, you know, this one I think is about three, three and a half ounces. So that's a real big one. This is about two and a half ounces. Even the mini pencil popper in case we get into some schoolies in the surf. Uh, we got the tsunami talking popper. There's been a lot of bunker hanging around the south side, so I feel like if there's any bigger fish around, those pencil poppers are gonna work. I also got a needle fish, and um, I got this custom pencil popper that I caught, you know, my first, uh, you know, big Cape Cod striper with. <laughs> this is like my favorite popper this year, just because I caught that fish. 30 pound fluorocarbon, got some diamond jigs. The biggest player today is gonna be, uh, you know, swim baits and bucktails. So I got a bunch of, you know, a bunch of different swim baits. This is an Elias swim bait, uh, Tsunami Shad, Berkeley Flatback Shads. And of course, first thing I got tied on to start, nice bucktail, some pork rind, and, uh, the, the surf looked really, really churned up, so that's what I, I think the bucktail is going to be doing most of the work today, or at least in this spot. And then if I go somewhere else, uh, you know, the top water probably be a little better. But you never know. I mean, we're starting to work our way into September now, so there's going to be some fish, you know, starting to work their way along the south side a little bit more. And, uh, you know, that's where you can throw a pencil popper in really rough surf. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. It's my dad. <laughs> He's probably wondering what I'm catching. But yeah, if the, in this really rough surf, you can throw probably a pencil popper and catch some good fish if uh, they're coming in close. Let me just pick this up. Let's hit the water though. All right, let's see if anybody's home. Lots of white water. Water looks really good in my book. Should be some schoolies cruising around under these under these waves. Looking for a bucktail or looking for something to eat. A little further out it looks really brown and dirty water. But closer in it looks kind of cleaner. There he is, fish on. Feels like a schooly bass. There we go. Nice healthy little guy breaking the ice with the old reliable. See you later, buddy. Just 
strange, no other bites. I guess that one fish was just kind of like the lone ranger. So I'm gonna get my bag here and I'm gonna move down the beach a little bit, maybe like, you know, a quarter mile, half a mile. Fish a couple different areas that, you know, even when the water is a little on the dirty side, you know, usually it always holds fish. There's probably more fish here, but I just have a feeling with the dirty water here, you know, it's a little shallower, so the fish don't have as much time to like really react to the bait. When the water's a little dirtier and you're fishing, say, slightly deeper water, you can fish the bucktail or whatever you're fishing a little bit slower in the water column. And, uh, you know, it just, it gives, a, it gives the fish a little bit more time to react to the bait. Sometimes it helps. So I actually ended up walking about a mile, mile and a half down the beach. And I fished everywhere in between there, but I just couldn't buy a bite. The water was really, really muddy. And I think by the time I got to this spot here, the tide had flooded up a little bit already, and it kind of made the really muddy water mix with slightly cleaner water. And, you know, finally I was able to find some fish. Fish on. There we go. Number two. Nice little healthy striper. See if there's another little guy floating around here. I caught that fish right behind this big boulder in front of me. There's another one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not a big, big guy, but a nice little fella. These fish are definitely kind of hanging in this white water, just on the edge of like the really murky, or no, the just like the brown water and the murky water. Yo, this is a big fish, big, no, what happened? No! Wow. Wow, wow, wow! Look at this fail right here. Look at this fail. Really big bass. And he just bent this clip. Oh, no! And when I was tying this clip on today, I was like, I don't know if I'm playing with fire, or, you know, I'm, I was thinking I was only get, gonna get into schoolies, but right there, I probably hooked into like a 20, 30 pound bass and that fish just straightened out that clip. Wow. Talk about sad, really sad. All right, well, I, let's throw on another bucktail, or let's throw on another clip and another bucktail. And uh, I guess see if I can capitalize on that loss. Dang it, that sucks. Definitely not the size of the one I lost. No way, the one that you know, broke that clip, he was ripping drag. Like, I couldn't even stop him. I had to make sure my drag wasn't too tight or he was gonna break the line. And he broke the clip. These guys are stacked right here. Stacked stripers. I crushed it right in front of the rock. A little bit bigger one too. Oh yeah.
I gotta go down to get this. Oh, he came off. Okay, he came off. Dang it. At least he didn't, you know, break my bucktail off or anything. Alright, Hawks, so after I lost that fish, I just kept working my way down the beach. I hit one spot, caught a couple schoolies. See you later. Then I went to the next point and, uh, you know, waded out to a rock. And immediately, as soon as I got to that spot, I saw stripers popping up here and there. And uh, every cast I was catching, you know, a schoolie. I even caught some bluefish, but uh, I wasn't recording for that. And uh, yeah, I fished till about dusk and then, you know, I left them biting. cleaned up new toy here uh, I'm not gonna reveal what it is but uh, in my next video if you guys can't tell by now I'll show you what reel that is and I'm gonna put it to the test and see if it can uh, get the job done in the surf as well as the van stall probably won't be as good as the van stall but it'll be a good backup reel I'm hoping that's what I'm really searching for like a backup reel just in case the van stall ever breaks but uh, yeah I mean I kind of got on like a decent bite even though the water was dirty in the beginning, but then as that, you know, flood tide started coming up and, you know, and cleaning out that rainy runoff water, then uh, finally it seemed like the fish just turned on or, you know, maybe I got lucky and I just stumbled upon some fish, but uh, all in all, great bite. I hope you guys liked the video and if you got any questions, post a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I think it's, I think the fishing is just going to get uh, better from here, you know, as fall continues. And I'm going to try and get out as much as I can in the surf so I can make a video for you guys. And, uh, you know, thanks for 20,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can get to 30, 40, maybe 50,000 in the future here pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys in the next one.